give this one a shot here. So what we're trying to do is we're given like the Earth, right? The Earth is like crazy up there. And then we have its or um, the satellite is this little dot right here. Let's actually make this something nice. Hey, look at this star. So we have a little um, satellite that's going to be in orbit, right? And then what we have is we have this direct horizontal line that's saying um, that uh, uh, the satellite is how far away? Is 12,500 miles away, okay? Then they say the radius, the radius of the Earth is 4,000 miles. So we're able to draw a right triangle from down from the center of the Earth and uh, the radius, the base of the Earth, out to your satellite. Okay, so we're, what we're essentially given is we're given a right angle with two points, correct? Right? And then what they want us to do is find this angle of depression, which is going to be not your angle that it makes with your with the satellite, but the angle that's going to be giving you a on the vertical on your uh, tangent tangent line to your satellite. So what I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I first want to uh, rewrite this triangle to kind of make it look just a little bit simpler, so we can determine what we're going to have to use to solve for this. So let's first send. Uh, what do we need? So we have an angle. Our hypotenuse is 12,500, and our radius, we say, is 4,000, or our opposite of our angle theta is 4,000. So if I want to find this angle, which trigonometric uh, property am I going to have to use, or trigonometric function am I going to have to use? There's only three of them, sine, tangent, cosine. Which one deals with the opposite of your theta and the hypotenuse? Sine, right? Now remember though, if I want to find that, if I want to, uh, well, let's just write it out. <laughs> I'll say sine of theta equals, remember the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So therefore, now if I want to figure out what theta is, I'm going to write theta equals sine inverse of 4,000 divided by 12,500. What? So therefore, what I'll do is I'll type in my calculator, inverse sine of 4,000 divided by 12,500, and I get 18.66 degrees, all right? I'll just round it right there. So therefore, angle theta equals 18.66, but that's not what they're asking. They want us to find what is this angle of depression. So what is the angle of depression? Well, this is only 18.66 of 90 degrees. So to find my angle of depression, all I have to do is take 90 degrees and subtract 18.66. So it's going to be, uh, what, 74, 71, 34? Beauty of your trick properties is you can do it many different ways. But therefore, your angle should have been 71.34 degrees.